this event is massive. Think 16 clubs competing for $75,000 and bragging rights as Australia's number one board riders club. But the claiming rights is huge. This is our state of origin. Every beach and every club is like a family and everyone has uh, a lot of pride in where they're from and so I don't know, we kind of go, go head to head. Held at Cronulla on the Australia Day long weekend, the event runs pairs, teams and skins titles with all three formats contributing points to an overall winner. This is why we produce so many world champions is because from a young age, this club spirit and culture just thrives for kids to get better and it's such a healthy environment for kids to join their local club. The pairs team together a male and a female surfer from each club. With fun two to three foot waves, the surfers' highest scores will combine to get each heat winner. Oh, again, Louis thinks he's back at snapper. Oh my goodness. Pretty much everyone that's in these teams is all fantastic surfers. Things could change right here with Joel Parkinson, the 2012 world champ up and riding. After the pairs final, Snapper Rocks was in the lead, with five-time world surfing champ Steph Gilmore teaming with former tour pro Jay Phillips. The Skins event sees clubs nominating their best surfers to surf 20-minute heats, with the highest scorer staying in the water and keeping a $1,000 winner-take-all jackpot from each heat, plus valuable points for their club. I loved it. The last wave touch, Burrow 8.17, pushes him up into first place. This thing. Look at the speed, the flare just explodes through that first turn. It's, uh, it's good fun, and yeah, I'll get back out there again if um, my, my score holds up. But uh, fun little waves when they come, and I'm enjoying it. Joel Parkinson once again proves he is one of the world's fiercest professionals, ending Taj's run. Joel Parkinson now. Reg, another score in the right up there yep. in the excellent range. This is Asher Pacey. He is looking to better an 8.1, and that was a great. Asher point. Pacey betters Parco with an 8.93, putting Kira in the game. Dion Atkinson from South Australia's Seaford Board Riders takes the leader's red jersey with three convincing wins. The team's event is a unique strategic tussle, with teams of five battling it out in an hour-long heat with tactics playing a crucial role as surfers race back to the beach in an exciting relay-style format. Allura have the home break advantage and have the chance to take down the biggest scalp of all, the all-star Snapper Rock Surf Riders. Here we go, Joel Parkinson into the pocket, whips it around, off the bottom, driving turn, releases the tail. Here we go, Jared Sullivan chasing a 4.04. There we go, one big forehand hat and another one. Okay, he's got 40 seconds, he's got to get it to the beach. Oh no, he didn't need to do that, he's got to oh, get to the beach. He's, got he he's digging as deep as he's ever got. 16 uh -oh. seconds, 15, 14, 13. He's going to make, I think, 10 seconds. Yeah, he's oh, in. he's into the box, oh, so. In. The beach erupts as Allura wins the team's final. Oh, it's so good just to be um, competing with those with such good surfers and well, they've been my heroes my whole life. Snapper Rocks, the best performer over the entire weekend, reigns supreme as the overall winners and the inaugural of Be The Influence Australian Board Riders Battle Champions. And when you have those young kids that are so excited to get out there and surf against, you know, they're surfing against their heroes Joel and, and Luke and Oki and stuff, they end up getting better waves and better scores than the big guys. Congratulations to everyone who was in the event, every club. That was, uh, was such an amazing event, amazing experience for everyone. And I'd just like to thank Surfing Australia who, who put it on and, and hopefully we keep it on. This was so good in a great venue. And Snapper rules, thank you. <laughs> yeah.